Welcome to Modeling Expenses, part of the Mastering on Trajectory tutorial series. In this video, we'll take a closer look at expense items and the various criteria used to configure them. The major expenses in our lives don't occur uniformly each and every year. Your mortgage will be paid off at some point, your child's college exists for just a few years, we hope, and car payments occur at intervals depending on how well you resist automakers' ad campaigns. What's more, some expenses may never come to be. What if you had always wanted a boat, but were unsure whether you could afford it? With On Trajectory, you can define an expense and then optionally include or exclude it from your financial plan to understand its long-term effect and to help you make a truly informed decision. Let's take a closer look at this individual's expenses. The first item, base expenses, has an orange G next to it. This indicates it's actually a group of expenses, represented in a single item. Groups are a convenient way to set up budgets, for now and for the future. Click the G, and we see this one includes healthcare, utilities, TV, internet, etc. These are all expenses that don't require distinct start and end ages, because they will be with you, more or less, every year of your life. If you change any value in this list, the total is reflected at the bottom. Click OK to close the window and update the expense item. Once entered, you can also change the total directly in the amount column as well. Grouped expenses, like any other expense, can have ranges, a concept we've previously described in other tutorials. In this scenario, a range was added that increases base expenses at age 46. Notice that this coincides with several items below. Age 46 is the year that a house down payment was entered, as well as a mortgage. This reflects someone moving into a bigger place and planning for increased expenses overall. As you can see, base expenses then decreases again at age 67. This is a common situation where spending is reduced during retirement. Back to modeling major expenses. One that requires significant planning is kids. We see daycare beginning for this individual at age 42 then increasing at age 44, and decreasing again at age 47. This is the result of having two children who are entering and leaving daycare at different times, and it emphasizes that On Trajectory is a financial life planning tool to be updated as your life situation changes. It's important to note that expenses are entered in today's dollars, so you don't have to worry about inflating costs. This makes planning for your child's college easier, because you need not calculate the future effects of inflation. However, you can also use the growth override column if you believe a certain cost may outpace inflation, which many folks believe to be true about college, and that's why you see 5% entered here. Lastly, let's play some what if. We see that an expense called boat was entered starting at age 46, and it continues for 10 years. It is currently excluded from calculations, however, if we include it by clicking this checkbox, you can see its very significant impact causing this individual to run out of funds well before their target age. Now, let's take a look at their automobile plans. We see this individual is planning to purchase a new car in a few years at age 50. What if they splurged a little and bought that convertible they always wanted? We bump up the car payment and see that the impact is far less significant than the boat. So maybe highway cruising is in, but sailing the seas is out. Lastly, let's take a look at spending type. This field allows you to set an expense as either per month, per year, or percent variable. While the first two are self-explanatory, the third requires some explanation. A popular technique for planning post-retirement spending is to limit it to a percentage of your assets, most commonly 4%. You can use this field to designate an expense item in this way. Just choose percent variable, and in the amount field, enter the percentage of assets you wish to spend per year. You can choose 4%, of course, or any other value up to 100%. And that concludes your introduction to expense modeling in On Trajectory. Please watch the other videos in this series to learn more about the features On Trajectory has to help you develop your own personal financial life plan. 